Hello and welcome to another episode of the TES Secondary Math Resource of the Week with me, Craig Barton. Now, a little insight into my personal life here to open up this video. Um, I love those escape rooms. I don't know if you've been in them. It's uh, The idea is that they're that simple. You get two of you or four of you or however many you want in a room. You're essentially locked in and you've got a series of puzzles that you need to solve to help you get out. I mean, you normally have an hour to do it. And I, I'm addicted to these things. I've dragged my wife and my friends to pretty much every single one in the Northwest. So you can only begin to imagine my delight when I discovered these lock problems, which essentially bring all the fun of a escape rooms into the maths classroom. Now, as I've mentioned, in fact, in last week's resource of the week, but, but many times over the years, I'm not a massive fan of gimmicks in maths unless they've got some validity to them. I don't like doing something unless it's going to engage the kids, but crucially get them to practice fundamental skills or problem solve or something like that. I'm not in the mood for, for doing something just for the sake of it, just because it's new or fancy or different. But these have mathematical validity. So they're called lock problems or crack the code. They've been uploaded by one of my favorite authors whose name I can't say. I'm going to go for Stroevi. Probably wrong. Um, and you can download them all in one go, use it, download them all in one go using Tezzy's lovely little zip up function. So you give that a click and you get a load of files that, that look like this. So at, at the moment, there's 11 of these, one of which is the template. And I'll just show you a couple of these just so we can get a sense of how they work. So this is the one on rates and ratio. So the idea is, um, and you, you can run these a couple of a couple of different ways. You give these sheets out to your students. Maybe you want them doing them one each, or this is often better in pairs or, or groups of three, I find. And the kids work their way through these questions. Now, straight away, this is what I like about it, because these are proper mathematical questions. Um, and essentially, it's just a worksheet, right, with eight questions on there. And you can, these questions can be anything you want. But crucially, kids fill out the answers uh, just there, the answer to the first one, the answer to the second one, and so on. And when they've got all their answers, they then use a bit of algebraic substitution. So substitute their answers into that expression and out should pop, if they've done it correctly, a four digit number. That four digit number, they then take to the front of the class, whereby you have set up a little combination lock with a, um, locking up maybe a little tin box inside of which is some kind of prize. So very, very simple. Oh, sorry, I said a four digit number. It's a three digit number comes out. So for example, this one, the correct answer is 248. If the kids have 248, when they come to the front and they do the lock, it'll open. If they don't, they won't. And look, a really, really, really nice um, um, set of instructions here. Print off the pages, uh, place a prize in the box. Pupils complete the questions and um, project the algebraic code to on the front so they know to, to substitute it in. Pupils only get the prize if they crack the code. And this is quite nice. If a team um, is unsuccessful, you might want to tell them which question you've got wrong, or you might not want to tell them. Um, so here you go. Essentially, it is just a series of eight questions, but it's done in an engaging way. Now, before I show you the next one, you might be thinking to yourself, flipping out, this sounds like a lot of hassle for me. It's not at all. As long as you've got a lock and a box, you're good to go. And you can buy them Poundland or anything like that. Other pound shops are available. Um, I'll show you the probability one, because I think this is particularly nice. Look at this. Imagine you want to revise GCSE probability, maybe with a year 10 class, year 9 class, year 11s or whatever. Look at all the different styles of questions that you can ask there with just clever things. The value of A is the numerator. The value of B is the numerator of the simplified answer. You can tackle all your probability desires and all your needs in this one resource. It's absolutely lovely. In fact, once they've got their eight answers, they substitute into that expression. And once again, we have the answer here, 295 for this particular task. That will crack the lock. And um, a couple of extra, oh, sorry, I should say as well, I've got a little template here as well for making your own. And that, that brings me nicely onto two extra things I was just gonna say. Um, if kids are struggling with this and they need a bit of support, this is an ideal activity for my little counter technique. So you give every group one counter and they can exchange that for a hint from you or maybe even an answer from you if you want to. And it really gets, I mean, I've spoken about this tons of times, but it really gets kids thinking about the questions they ask and talking and communicating with each other really, really well. Um, and in terms of extension, I mean, this template just, just says it all. Set the kids a little challenge to create their own lock problems. I mean, imagine you had a year 10 or year 11 class just before their exams. 
um, you could set them each a different topic to produce a lock problem for and then have one whole lesson or a double lesson of kids trying each other's lock problems out and think that means kids have to write their own questions, come up with answers, work backwards from the algebraic expression to come up with the code and so on. And for the price of a few locks, it would just be a wonderful revision lesson. So look, I love these. I'm a bit addicted to these. Um, they've got so much potential to be used with any age, any achievement level, any topic. So give them a go. And um, if you like them, hop back on here, share, share your thoughts, share a little review and get creating some of your own lock problems maybe. And I'll return with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.